There's a lot riding on this state fair. The good news is the projected David uh, weather that David talked about that sets the stage for a really good turnout. But there are uncertainties always with a state fair like that that could factor in crime concerns and economy. A sunny day for the final setups at the Mississippi State Fair. Sugar, corn syrup, butter, evaporated milk. At Malone's Taffy, their prices have gone up because of ingredients like that now costing more. The fair prices are down, you know, entrance and all, but everybody has gone up on their prices because, you know, ours went up to $15 a box because our ingredients prices went up. You know, last year it was $12 a box. Bags were six, now they're eight and 15. Fair operators are concerned that added security protections will be a turnoff to some patrons. That plus the economy causing people to spend less this year. We're always worried about the economy impact and it looks like it's gonna be a good fair. You know, there, I know there's gonna be some uh, patrons come out that's not gonna spend as much, that's expected. But uh, I think all in all, people are gonna come out and they're gonna enjoy themselves and spend money and uh, participate in this great event. Those pricing concerns for goods are also on the minds of vendors like Green Ghost Tacos. I would say the price of chicken skyrocketed a lot, um, you know, and that's one of our biggest sellers, you know, the chicken taco or just anything with chicken down, down south does really well. While vendors are facing additional costs, some admit they are worried about passing too much of that added cost onto the customer and pushing them away from their counters. And you're, and you're really hoping that that margin doesn't affect your bottom lines. Patrick Fagan at Lost Pizza says they have already started doing price comparisons with their competition, setting up on the fairgrounds. We're going to go down, like the menu you see out there, we're going to go down a little bit, just to make things a little bit easier. For the pop, uh, How much are you reducing prices, you think? Uh, well, I've got a guy over there doing a six for a slice and a drink, so we'll probably do the exact same thing. A lot of prep work still going on tonight. Now, remember, the gates officially open tomorrow at 11. And by the way, don't forget, there's no charge to enter the State Fair when you come down for lunchtime between 11 and 1 o'clock. Live at the fairgrounds, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.